All right. Well, any hot tuna fans here in the audience? Yeah. 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 Well, this one's for you, man. This is, a, this is a song that we've been doing. This is a, off the first I found it. Yeah. This is on our on our first uh, independent release, and uh, song did really well for us. This was the first uh, video that we had out. Uh, this lever cool video. They call it. Uh, song did really well for us, and our, our good friend Ted DeMille up in Maine, great singer, songwriter, and musician, uh, rearranged the, the words to this song, um, and uh, he did such a great job on it, so we'll do it for you now. One called the 99 year, oh, hey now, thanks, thanks Joe, that would have been a train wreck. Good? All right. Well, I guess that string that Joey popped a little, a little while back is not behaving properly. We uh, we on this uh, on this new album. We'll do a few more songs on the uh, on the new album today uh, tonight. But uh, we had the privilege of recording with some really great musicians. Um, you heard earlier that uh, Bob Minner, Tom Yetz song, Cotton Horn and Hay. Uh, we did a gospel song with the six time IBMA female vocalist of the year, Dale Ann Bradley. And uh, the first song we opened up with tonight was a big song for uh, Jonathan Edwards. So all three of those folks contributed to the album. Uh, we got some special guests coming up here for this uh, album. We're going to go down and record. Super excited to get that to you. but. Uh, all right, well, we'll do the song for you now. One called 99 Year Blues. Yeah. 
right, we're gonna we're gonna feature this fellow over here on the fiddle again. Uh, he and I wrote a song a while back, a few months ago or so, and uh, we uh, I don't know. It was just something super magical that happened, uh, and uh, and uh, it, it was just been a, a great experience writing a song with Austin. Um, just an honest guy, and, and this is just an honest song that I'm sure resonates with a lot of people, which is why every, everybody seems to like it. And, and the fact that Austin just sings absolute snot out of it. Well, yeah. I don't know, Austin, you talk about it. Well, sure, yeah. Well, I recorded this song down in Nashville with actually a, a good friend of mine who I met at the Ashoka Center. She's the uh, uh, bass player nominee of the year uh, for the International Bluegrass Music Association. She plays in a, a well-known Boston group called Della May. <laughs> Anyway, she's a great, great country singer uh, uh, named, by the name of Vicki Vaughn, and uh, the two of us just really fell in love with singing duets together, so we recorded this and, uh, down in Nashville. It's uh, going to be released in the next month or so. It's an original that uh, Alex and I wrote. It's got a real sad story. Uh, so, yeah. Well, we're going to enjoy this one.
rips your heart out, doesn't it? Well, I guess we need another prison song to lift up our spirits. And uh, this song here too was uh, was a song written by Bill Thibodeau over here on the mandolin and his buddy Stan Keach up in Maine. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun with the song here and uh, a lot of really great feedback, so we'll keep doing it. And I believe this one here too will be on the new project. But uh, it's a song about a lonesome man and a lonesome town. First of all, you take the care of CJ inside. She's the bartender. Woo! Take care of us. Make sure you take care of her. And also a big shout out to Sal Sacco for making this thing happen. Everywhere we, uh, everywhere we get to play, we get to tell people about uh, a place called Nick and E's back in Providence. And uh, if folks want to come and see a weekly bluegrass show, this is the place to do it. And it wouldn't happen without Sal. And wouldn't happen without the uh, uh, Rhode Island bluegrass. So uh, make sure to bluegrass scene that you talk to Sal and you check out the Rhode Island bluegrass and uh, I'm sure they can put you to work somewhere somehow. All right, here's a song called Love and Well. <laughs> I'm going to change my 
Here it is, Mark All Love and Will. New England based singer songwriter. So, on the album Wanderlust is a song of mine, it's a song of Billy's, um, and we're going to be recording Rick Lang's song. Uh, but there's a really great little festival uh, up in Tunbridge, Vermont. If you haven't been there, you should. Called Jenny Ruck Bluegrass Festival. And uh, it is, I tell you, just one of the finest little bluegrass festivals. It's a big, giant, national lineup, but it's a super small festival feel. Everyone knows everybody. Great field picking, great entertainment. And uh, so if you're thinking about going to a bluegrass festival next year, it's the third week in June usually, uh, but it's a great time. So check it out, Jenny Brook Bluegrass Festival. The promoters of there, Seth and Candy Sawyer. Seth has a band called the Seth Sawyer Band. His wife Candy plays the bass. He wrote a song for her, a beautiful song called uh, Green Mountain Girl. Uh, Green Mountain, of course, being in the state of Vermont. And so uh, Seth Sawyer gave us his blessing to record this song on our album. We were so thankful for it. And uh, so we'll do it for you now. Here's one called The Green Mountain Girl.
Well, uh, that first set we uh, we featured, uh, maybe it was this one here. Uh, first set we featured a song called Wake Up and Smell the Coffee, written by the late, great Bill Smith. And uh, we're going to do uh, the instrumental that he wrote for us, or he wrote, that we covered. When Bill first brought this to the band for consideration, we thought, well, it's a great song, but what the heck's up with the, with the title? And so Bill explained that back when they were in uh, Bluegrass Supply Company, they both had beards and mustaches, and sat down to eat a pile of pancakes and with butter on it. And uh, they both came up from the pile of pancakes that had butter all in their mustache. <laughs> Hence the name of the song. We'll do it for you now. One called Butter in the Mustache. <laughs> Celebrated. The only issue is we didn't have a song that was just rip roaring that was uh, 
was, you know, just Michael Cleveland here. So, uh, so in any case, driving to our very last practice, and this band practices at the uh, at the Roadway Inn in Wellington, Connecticut. Anyone from Wellington, Connecticut? We started practicing at the TA truck stop in an RV. True story. And then we moved into the Roadway Inn, and they're so gracious there. They, they give us their whole breakfast area, they make us coffee, and they don't charge us anything. And we get our practicing because it's a center spot for us all. So on our drive to the very last practice before we went to Nashville, um, I think your alarm's going off, mister. There we go. We started thinking about songs that, that, that we could play, and this next song here is a, is a song I wrote. Um, and it's a song about me reflecting growing up as a military kid. So I grew up as a military kid, moving every three years of my life to a different town, a different school, a different place. And uh, that kind of wreaks havoc on your personal life, your professional life, and whatnot. But I wrote it in more of a slow country, Chris Stapleton kind of song. And uh, But when Michael Cleveland said that he was going to play on the album, we just jacked this thing up to about 150 beats per minute and uh, changed the time signature. and. And uh, we laid it down in the studio, and Steve and Mojin and Ned Lou Breakfast said, Man, that was just a tale of me for like a plea. So we'll do it for you now, everyone. One called Wander Lust. <laughs> here are going to do another instrumental for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I think we 
I'm gonna do a little Cherokee shuffle for you, folks.
video, Bill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. That's still long in production. <laughs> it's called treadmill for banjo pins. <laughs> <laughs> well, another song uh, on the on the new album is uh, is just a song about uh, the, the fizzling of a relationship, <laughs> the grand demise, if you will. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right on. And uh, so, uh, yeah, this song was written sort of in the theme of a like a Dan Fogelberg-ish kind of tune. Uh, and we'll do it for you now. It's one called Leave It. traditional number and I suppose if uh, you want to get up and shake your bad selves this would be oh, the song the to do it. yeah you do All right. we, uh, we have a lot of fun with this one here and I know Flat Scruggs covered this song and Bill McGraw would cover this song it's a good one we'll make sure we're taking it <laughs> Take care. Once again, thanks to Sal and Reba for putting this on. Thanks to Nick and Ease for having us here. And uh, if you're at a festival somewhere, please come up and say hi. We'll be around after the show for a little while. So come on up and I'd like to get to know you. Mine is 
This weekend to a really hip new festival called, uh, well, I guess not too new, but compared to some of these other ones, Asabi Valley Music Festival up in Huron, Maine. It's a really fun festival. Got a, my favorite part of it is got this big lazy river that just circles the whole festival. And people bring floats and just listen to the music as they fly out. It's a really beautiful festival. A lot of fun people will be there. Uh, uh, last year, headliners were Molly Tunnel and Sierra Hole. And, uh, looking forward to that one too. Then we're headed right off to uh, the week after that, the Ashokan Center up on a bluegrass week there, where Missy Rains and Allegheny uh, are going to be uh, teaching with Timber Ludicker of Del May, like it says, four way Oh, yeah, we got one more festival as well that's a brand new one, first ever time. It's called Bluegrass in Heaven. So hopefully, it's the name, but it's the name you want to go. <laughs> It's, uh, it's a really great festival where they're actually setting up boat rides. Like Michael Cleveland and I will be sitting on a boat during a specific hour and we'll just serenade you on the, on the, uh, the uh, Lake George. So that one's uh, in September, I believe, so that we get 14th to 17th, and it's the first ever time they're putting on this festival on right on Lake George. It's a beautiful retreat center. So make sure to check out Silver Bay. That's called Bluegrass in Heaven. Uh, we are. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Brock Hart's uh, Blue Highway and Michael Cleveland Flame Keeper. Yeah. That's a great weekend right there. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. All right, here we go. Kick it off. Rocky Roll Blues.
Wiseman fans in the audience. I know it's going way, way back, but we'll do a Mac Wiseman song for you. And then I think uh, that might be the last song here. All right. What's that? On a long, lonesome journey, I'm a going. Oh, darling, please don't you cry. For in shackles and chains, they will take me to a prison to live. Till I die And at night Through these bars I begin to sing the stars And I long for the kisses in vain Look me so strong I will use for my good While I'm sleeping In shackles and chains Junction, yep. uh, give Joey Black a call and, yep. and request those songs or Bluegrass Jamboree or any one of those uh, radio shows. And uh, we surely would appreciate that as well. And, uh, go to our website, bluegrass, uh, rockheartsbluegrass.com. Sign up for the mailing list. We'll let you know where we're at and whatever else is new that's happening. And uh, we'll, we'll be sure and, and uh, include you in on all that stuff. So, uh, all right. How about one more? And then uh, we'll call it a night. Thank you all again Woo! so much for being here. And it's been our pleasure performing for you tonight. And I uh, look forward to talking to you a little while from now. Here it is, one call blue night. Thanks, everybody.